neuroradiology is the discipline where we try to image the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord, and it began with fairly invasive techniques before there were CAT scans or MRI scans. Uh, for example, one could inject uh, dye contrast directly into the carotid artery, or one could inject air into the spinal column to try to outline the brain. Uh, and that's the environment in which neuroradiology grew. And uh, in the late 60s and early 70s, a group of neuroradiologists began trying to actually treat various vascular conditions in the brain using uh, less invasive techniques once catheters were developed. So interventional neuroradiology is a field that grew out of diagnostic neuroradiology, where the goal is to carefully outline vascular disease of the brain or spinal cord and actually treat it. And it's grown fairly explosively in the last few years to the point where we can offer minimally invasive alternatives to uh, neurosurgery. At this point, many interventionalists continue to be neuroradiologists who go on to do subspecialty training, but there are lots of neurosurgeons who are training to do neurointerventional radiology, and neurologists are also training to do that now. So it's a fairly interdisciplinary group.